Good evening. Uh, my name is Kevin McNellis. Uh, I've been a friend of Kevin Grace for many years, and we're going to uh, give them a little tour of my hometown, Sykesville, Maryland, where I've lived for 32 years, and uh, my kids have grown up here. Wonderful place. Uh, voted coolest town in America about three years ago. So it is a really cool town, and I'm going to, I'm going to take Ke Kevin and I are going to go on a little tour of the town. So I'm going to quickly describe, we're at a place called Freedom Park, it's right off of 32 between Route 70 and Route, uh, and Route 3rd and Liberty Road, right in the heart of Sykesville. And this is land, I don't know how many acres, but in, right around the year 2000 it was dedicated to uh, Carroll County to use as a recreation park for one dollar. So the entire park held something like eight baseball fields and four or five or six soccer fields. So this is a great place, starting place to talk about the history of Sykesville because over to um, our, our, let's see, north, south is um, Route 70, which goes uh, east-west. So it starts around the airport and goes all the way out to Frederick. And the whole reason Sykesville exists is because this was the first railroad track in the United States of America. And, um, in the early 1800s, when railroads were just getting started, the very first railroad track was going to go from Baltimore, Maryland. Its first stop was Ellicott City, Maryland, where there's a, a museum. You can see some of the first history of the first railroad station in America. And that was going to continue out to Frederick, Maryland. So Sykesville was the halfway point between those. So um, we're right sitting here with a, a blog talking about um, the Pattersons. Um, William Patterson, uh, in, the late 18, in the early 1800s, he was the second richest person in the state of Maryland. The um, only person richer than him was John Carroll of Carrollton, who was one of the signers of the Declaration. So this very rich man who made all his money in shipping decided to build a farm on the halfway point. He was also one of the founding fathers of the Inno Railroad. Um, and you can see his name on the Thomas Viaduct, which is the oldest multi-arch railroad bridge in the world, and that's in Elkridge, Maryland. And it's on this same stretch from Baltimore to Sykesville. Um, the builders of that Thomas Viaduct was the same guy that built the Washington Monument. I believe his name was. So, another story for another day, but William Patterson decides to buy this piece of land. So, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of, of the land, but he, he uh, takes all these little tiny pieces of property, has them um, surveyed, and then he buy, puts them all together and buys 2,000 acres, and he calls the land Springfield. The hospital, Maryland Springfield Hospital, was put in the late 1800s, was a mental, state mental hospital for hundreds of years. And then after that, it, um, I'm sorry, before that, so it went from George Brown, uh, uh, sorry, William Patterson buying the land and then um, he passed it on to his son, George Brown. And then later on it's bought by Frank, but George, William Patterson gives it to George Patterson and Frank Brown buys the land. Frank Brown was the governor of Maryland. He's the only governor from what was then Baltimore County. It, it's the only governor from Carroll County, but at that time it was Baltimore County. So, um, and, and one of the things we'll get to a little later is, I coincidentally, about 30 years ago, was in an antique shop, and I found the 1828 deed and land survey, where William Patterson had all the land surveyed and given to his son, and called the land Springfield. But we'll see that deed later in, in, this, in this video. Anyway, he buys the land, it's a halfway point, and he has a farm, and, um, his whole idea was to uh, have a have a farm on the halfway point for transportation. That's where he made his money in transportation and shipping. And he was going to um, he ends up giving the land to his son George at a little later point in time. But one interesting side story here is his daughter Elizabeth Patterson ends up dating William uh, Napoleon Bonaparte's brother and ends up um, marrying him, going over to, to England, and then they were gonna to go to France, and Napoleon would have no part of his brother marrying an American. So 
he made his brother leave his wife, his new wife in England, where their marriage was annulled, and she spent the rest of her life um, in, in there. So here you have William Patterson, founder of the B&O Railroad, buys a home along what's going to be the future railroad, 2,000 acres, and he calls it Springfield, became the state hospital, the governor lived here. So a lot of history in Sykesville, all of which revolves around this being the first at midpoint on the first railroad stop in the country. So more later, but um, that's where we're starting the discussion of Sykesville. So here we are at the second stop on my little tour of my hometown, Sykesville, Maryland, and we are going to visit the grave of George Patterson. Um, we're in uh, Springfield Cemetery, which is right behind Springfield Presbyterian Church, and it's off of Spout Hill Road in uh, Sykesville, Maryland, if you're looking for it. It's a little hard to find because it's, it's not on the main road, but um, it's pretty easy when you look at this entire um, graveyard, which is a fairly sizable graveyard, that you can tell which is the uh, Patterson section because it's all fenced off in this wrought iron gate. So we'll walk in here very quickly and take a look at some of the graves inside the, the wrought iron fence. We'll start with um, our main character, George Patterson. Now, as I had said earlier, and I might have misspoke a little, Will, William Patterson was his father, and William Patterson came to America in the late 1700s and he was the one with all the money and he gave he bought this land which he named Springfield and then he as soon as he bought it like the next day <laughs> and I know this because I have this land survey and the deed and this is in 1828 he gives the land to George Patterson um, for uh, $10 and, I'll, and we'll show the deed on the third stop but um, He's buried here with his wife, Prudence, and um, his daughter, Florence, and his son, James. And over here is his, is on the, to the, to his right side, our left, is um, his son, George Jr. And George Jr. died at the age of four, and apparently just broke George Patterson. So this great landowner, this wealthy landowner, his son dies, and... And he, it becomes a sad story of um, him him not wanting to be alive after his young son died. So that's the sad story of um, them. But he did outlive his son by 29 years. His son died in I mean, 25 years. His son died in 1844, and he died in 1869. And you also mentioned that Patterson Park. Park. So George Patterson, uh, um, the the George pa the Patterson High School. And Patterson Park are named after George's father, William, who was the principal person that, that uh, bought the land that later became Sykesville. Um, one thing that happened simultaneously is a man named James Sykes, and I actually found two deeds by James Sykes where he was buying some land. He was also a wealthy landowner. Um, in 1825, he bought a plot of land out in Sykesville, and then in 1828, George Patterson buys this huge plot of land. So they got to know each other pretty well. But James Sykes has no heirs at all. So um, they don't know. So they did name the town of Sykesville after James Sykes. James and Mary Sykes were the, the husband and wife. But um, nobody knows exactly where James Sykes is buried. And nobody has any photographs of, um, or pictures or drawings or sketches of James Sykes. So the, the town of Sykesville is a little bit of mystery where the founding father was because he left no legacy. Um, he did, however, build a five-story hotel in the town of Sykesville, right along the river. Now, the town of Sykesville, is there's a river, Tapsco River, that runs right through the town of Sykesville. On the one side, it's Baltimore County. On the other side, it's Carroll County. Now, like I said earlier, at the time that George Patterson bought all this, this was all Baltimore County. Baltimore County split a whole section off the cold Carroll County. So 
this was all Baltimore County. But his hotel, his five-story hotel, which was principally there because this was the stopping point from Baltimore to Frederick. This was the halfway point. People came here for vacations. Uh, wonderful stopping point on the way. Get away for the weekend from the, the busy city. In 1868, the entire uh, town was flooded and the five-story hotel and the banks and everything in, this, in the town was um, demolished and blown away through the river. And I read a story once that the bank had a safe in it with the money for the town and nobody ever found the safe. It just rolled down the river somewhere. So buried somewhere in the Patapsco River, 50 feet underground somewhere is the safe to the town of Sykesville from 1868 flood. So the history is extensive of anywhere, but if you, if you just keep digging and digging and digging and, uh, and finding these deeds led me to dig and dig and dig and learn a lot. Now, the way I found this grave, I didn't know George Patterson was buried here. I've just lived here 30 years and I have some friends buried in this graveyard out here. And one day I wandered over to see who the big grave belonged to and I was able to put two and two together and, and figure out the whole story of who's in this graveyard. So that's the second stop and we'll see you again in the third step. Hey guys, you're surely Kevin Grace. I found the graves of James and Mary Sykes. Now initially, my friend Kevin didn't know where they were buried, but I did a little more digging and they're buried here actually in Baltimore at Greenmount Cemetery. And uh, the office helped me find where it was located. So it's kind of windy outside and it's gonna sound like like I'm bowling up a piece of paper by the microphone so I wanted to do the um, my talk here we'll walk over to the graves and you can see in the guy that was with me he had some kind of brush and he was able to brush the headstones because it was so just corroded and uh, we get, could see some of the the words on it so let's go check out where James and Mary Sykes who Sykesville is named after and there were some other family members behind them uh john and um ann sykes i don't know what relation maybe that was uh james's brother i don't know and uh, they had a daughter harriet so let's go check it out i believe this section is section i if you do come here so let's go over here as you can hear the wind is blowing a storm is coming up and it's right over here now they're buried next to a that's a Jacob Burrow and his wife Mary so I don't know who they are with relations but as you can see on here it says Sykes Barrow but this is Mary and it says on here she was 70 years of age and she died in 1863 and James looks like he was 90 I think and uh, he died in 1881 uh, it's hard to see anything else on here but the guy he had a scrub brush and we able to see that that's the only thing when you have these marble stones that over the years they start eroding and it's uh hard to see but I wanted to let you know that the Sykes are buried here at Greenmount Cemetery in Baltimore uh, if you come to North Avenue and Greenmount Avenue you'll see the cemetery this is a very old cemetery and a lot of people with money are buried here you have Johns Hopkins and the list go on, goes on with other philanthropists and uh, important people like that from Baltimore society and back here is um, Ann Sykes and John Sykes and this is their let me go over here their daughter Harriet Sykes so I'm not sure if John is um, John is James's brother or exactly what and like I said I don't know what the relation with the Barrows are like so this is Jacob Barrow and um, a Mary 
uh, his wife. So here we are in front of the Tapsco Distillery, Distilling Company, and um, this is where the deed is. Unfortunately, they are closed right now. I had read they were open on Wednesday at 12, but they closed at 5 p.m. and we're a little past that. Um, I'll send I'll send a picture of the uh, of the deed, me, me with the deed. But let me talk about it for a minute. First of all, this is the oldest building left in the town of Sykesville. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the Tapsco River divides uh, the town of Sykesville. And on um, the east side of the river is, I think it's east, is, um, and again, the Tapsco River flows right into the Inner Harbor, straight from here into the Inner Harbor. And it's, it's Baltimore County, and on this side, the railroad track goes along the river, but the railroad track is on this side and goes through Carroll County. Um, Back in 1868, when the flood took out the entire town, the town was located on the other side of the river. So what is now Howard County is where Sykesville was originally located. After the flood, the town was rebuilt on this side of the river. So this building was here when the flood happened. The flood happened in 1868. This building was erected in 1865. And it's had several purposes. It was a shop, it was a parish house, it was a fire station and now it's a distillery and the distillery was the first time they distilled um, spirits in the county of Carroll County since the prohibition took place so he was very proud to announce and the name of his whiskey was Bigfoot whiskey because once upon a time there was a sighting of Bigfoot right in Sykesville so he named it Bigfoot whiskey and um, I got one of the bottles the first you know 10 bottles released because he gave it to me for letting me letting me letting him hang the deed. So inside the deed is an 1828 deed where William gives all of his land to his son George and we just visited the grave of George and um, from there the town grew. I mean, it was Springfield and then James Sykes had bought land separate to William Patterson and ended up building the town of Sykesville which was named after him. Again, he has no legacy, he has no children, not sure where he's, he's uh, built, but um, uh, Sykesville is, is just uh, beside Eldersburg, Maryland, and Eldersburg is about 100 years older than uh, Sykesville, but, so all this was going on while Eldersburg is just slightly to our, our, our north. So anyway, that's some of the story, and I'll, I'll forward a picture of the deed to show it to you, but that's some history of Sykesville. Thanks.